Hello, I'm Myra and today I will be reviewing the book Introducing Just Sustainability Policy, Planning and Practice by Julian Adjaman. So is sustainability simply a green or environmental concern? Adjaman in his book argues otherwise. He says if we really want to understand just sustainability, our focus should be both on equality and environmental quality together. He explains that there are four conditions of the just sustainability approach. First, improving our quality of life and well-being here and across the globe. Second, meeting the needs of both present and future generations. Third, understanding justice, equity in terms of recognition, procedure and outcome. Lastly, he says all of this should be done by living within the ecosystem limits. So how do we approach just sustainability on an urban and spatial level? How do we allocate rights in urban spaces and places? Julian Adjaman says we can do so by first managing our coexistence in shared spaces, second by fostering belonging using deep ethnographies which means recognizing differences, accepting diversity and creating inclusive spaces. Third, by engaging in culturally competent planning and policy making. Fourth, by practicing human scale and humane scale urban planning and design. Ajman explains these four conditions and suggestions through an example of the democratic street versus the complete street. We do demarcate spaces for walkers, cyclists, and public transport since we understand that street traffic and social interaction are correlated, but we are constantly reversing car-centric planning instead of applying the complete street concept, where the street is a social construct, a physical space, constantly shifting as communities change, and its aim is to achieve spatial justice by recognizing the diversity and socio-economic racial factor. This book preaches that we need to ensure a better quality of life for all, now and into the future, in a just and equitable manner, whilst living within the limits of the supporting ecosystem.